Starting off first here with the first 1958 Lincoln Wheat Cent. All right, so this coin here has a couple things going on. It is graded at a Mint State 63 Red by NGC. It was struck on an improperly annealed Cuban one cent planchet. Uh, so that is awesome. So on the wrong planchet, annealed planchet, that is definitely going to make the coin valuable. We'll see that here on the reverse of the coin as well. This penny here sold for over $1,700. Can't beat that, nearly a $2,000 coin. Now here's a 1958 wheat penny that was struck 20% off center. You can look for off centers on all kinds of different coins, not just pennies, all kinds of different dates as well. This coin isn't super valuable or anything, but it did sell for over $30. So not really worth having something like this graded uh, because by the time you pay to get it graded and then you only get 30 bucks out of it, you're not really uh, making much on that. Now, here is a 1958 Lincoln Cent that has a curved clip. Now there's clips that could be very, very small. There could be clips that are large like this that take up a large portion of the coin. This coin is graded by NGC at immense state 67 red. This penny sold for over $400. Moving on to a 1958 D mint mark. Now this coin is only valuable because of its grade of a mint state 67 red. Now, if you have this coin at a mint state 66 red, even one grade lower, it could be way less valuable. Uh, so keep that in mind. If there's only like a handful of these coins out there that are graded at a mint state 67, then that's going to increase the value of the coin. So the coin grading skill goes up to 70. This is at a 67 red. And that's why the coin sold for around $120. Now also on your 1958 wheat pennies with your coin microscope, you also want to look for the D over the D mint mark. So a re-punched mint mark. So uh, that's on the 1958 D. You can see that very clearly in the images displayed. Uh, so with your coin microscopes, you'll be able to see those mint marks up close like this. Now here's a 1958 D that was not only struck 45% off center, but it was also struck onto a split planchet. And that's why the coin only weighs 1.82 grams. This penny here sold for around $100. Moving right along. Now this is an example of a 1958 double die penny. So this is going to be a super rare coin to always look for. You can see the doubling there on the word liberty as well as the motto, the phrase in God we trust. So always, always be on the lookout for that double die obverse from 1958. Those will sell for some good money. Now here is a 1958 Mint error. Now this coin here has the obverse struck through a capped die. So we'll see that here on the obverse of the coin, of course. And this penny here sold for around $110. Next up is a 1958 Lincoln wheat cent that has been double struck. So we'll see the double strike taking place. We'll see here on the reverse of the coin, you'll actually see the word Liberty. You'll see the outline of Lincoln's head or you know the whole obverse design outline of Lincoln. And then uh, here on the obverse of the coin, the front of the coin, you'll actually see part of the wheat stocks there uh, from the reverse design up above Lincoln's head underneath the word God. So you'll see the design of the reverse here on the obverse and the obverse design here on the reverse of the coin. Now this penny here sold for over $450. It is graded by PCGS at a mint state 64 red brown. Moving on to a 1967. Now I don't need to really explain this. This is the same thing as the other high graded coin. However, it's not the D mint mark. It's the no mint mark. Uh, so Philadelphia minted Lincoln wheat penny from 1958. It's got that high grade. That's where the value is. This penny sold for over $175 because of its grade. All right, now here's a very cool coin and I'm so surprised that this coin only sold for $24 because this is an awesome lamination. It looks really cool. I mean, I would definitely give you 24 bucks for this, especially if already being in a coin holder and graded. Um, you know, it's not like a high grade obviously or anything graded at a, a extra fine 45, a brown of course, and it's got that obverse lamination. So you see that there on the obverse, the front of the coin. 
Uh, you know, there's all kinds of different laminations that are going to look very, you know, different on different coins. Some of them, most of them are very common. Uh, but this is a large lamination and it just looks awesome. So I'm surprised that it only sold for around 24 bucks. Now here is a 1958 D mint mark that was struck 75% off center. Again, you can look for off centers on all kinds of different coins. Some could be as off center as this or way less than this. Uh, this coin sold for over $140. Moving on to a 1958 D, another off center coin here that was struck 60% off center. This coin here sold for over $300. Next up is a one cent coin. Now this is the 1958 Wheat Penny design that was struck onto a Cuban one cent planchet. That's why it's got a different color to it, of course. And this coin here is super rare. It sold for over $1,500. Could you imagine selling one cent for $1,500? Now this next coin is uh, much different. It wasn't struck on a Cuban one cent planchet. This penny design was struck onto a 10 cent blank planchet. So it's a silver planchet. Basically, it's a Lincoln cent design struck onto a silver Roosevelt dime planchet. So this coin here ended up selling for over $900. In 1958, they produced millions and millions of these coins. As you can see, the no mint mark, 252 million. The D mint mark, over 800 million. So they're not rare in terms of how many they actually made. Uh, but this is uh, a different coin here. This is the 1958 Proof Penny, and it's almost got a perfect grade. Like I say, the coin grading scale goes up to 70. This is at a Proof 69 Red. So that's why this coin sold for over $150. Next up is a 1958 that was struck on a piece of scrap. It only weighs 1.5 grams as a result of that, of course. We'll see that in the images displayed there, both on the obverse and the reverse of the coin. And this piece of scrap, or coin if you want to call it that, sold for over $175. Moving on to another 1958 wheat penny where the reverse was struck through. Uh, so this mint error coin here sold for around $38. It was cleaned as well. So never clean your coins. It will devalue them. You will lose a lot of value if you clean your coins. Uh, here on the front looks very normal, but we see that strike through uh, taking place here on the reverse of the coin. Now this coin, like I say, 38 bucks. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.